greetings here from astroguys.com. It is March 8th, 2012, and I'm out here trying to catch a prominence in the limb of the sun. The sun's looking pretty active today, and it's not because of the CME that's heading earthbound that should be in the vicinity as well. Uh, we're losing focus there a little bit. These prominences I'm seeing on the limb are 90 degrees off to the side of the sun. They're just on the edge, so they're not earthward directed, but it looks like we might have some more activity coming around. Oh yeah, and we got a few clouds passing in front too, so interesting. All right, this is a quick video shot here of that active region. Uh, I'm overexposing it a little bit so you can see the prominence on the loop. It's a nice sized one. I think this one is a region turning away from us, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, incidentally, the sun has its uh, pole tilted toward us right now. The north pole of the sun has shifted away yesterday. Uh, we're losing it in track. Right now we got the clouds moving in front of the sun and I've got it aimed at that active region in hydrogen alpha. I don't generally aim at the full disk uh, because you don't see the, the prominences silhouetted against the edge uh, like you do here. But it's kind of interesting to see that active region and it kind of looks neat as the clouds move in front. Like I was saying, the uh, sun, the north pole of the sun, as of yesterday was tilted back. The max tilt of the sun is 7.25 degrees relative to the ecliptic, which traces out the orbit of the Earth. And twice a year we pass by that maximal point where the sun is tilted back from us as we're orbiting. So I think that's one of the reason, reasons that the CME pro, uh, prominence may have missed us. Uh, or just give us a glancing blow today. All right, and so it stops bouncing. Again, here's that active region in hydrogen alpha. You notice how a lot of the facula are apparent in there, and a lot of the darker regions are actually kind of whitish. They don't look the same as they do in visual light. Uh, I was shooting in visual light earlier today. There's a nice one on the limb, too, I want to try to get. Kind of a nice drifting shot here while the sun is kind of going in behind clouds. Yeah, that's a pretty active region, and it's it's aimed toward that point where it can send uh, some more CMEs our way. And this, I don't think we've seen the last of the activity from this sunspot group, uh, AR 1429. I believe. All right, it, it seems like I'm overexposing it a little bit. I am. I'm trying to bring out. There is a prominence coming around the sun that is just approaching visibility there in the center. Uh, overexposing it brings it out a pinch. I think it's going to be an active one too. I think there's another active group up around the back of the sun that's just going to be coming around. The next one more day. look here at this active region. It's kind of interesting. Again, I think this one is rotating away from us right now, but it's uh, it's uh, kicking out a fair amount of activity and it's silhouetted pretty good there. I think we're going to see a pretty active sun here over the next uh, month or so. Things seem to be picking up finally for uh, Solar Cycle 24.